Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates. Topic for today's quiz is SSCCGL Tier 1 2014 Exam Paper. Question number 1. Chief Justice of the Supreme Court is appointed by the Option A. Chairman of Rajya Sabha. Option B. Prime Minister. Option C. President. Option D. Speaker of the Lok Sabha. The correct answer is Option C. President, the Chief Justice of India and the Judges of the Supreme Court are appointed by the President under Clause 2 of Article 124 of the Constitution. Question number 2. The two party system is found in Option A. USA. Option B. India. Option C. France. Option D. Russia. The correct answer is Option A. USA. For example, in the United States, the Bahamas, Jamaica, Malta, and Zimbabwe, the sense of two party system describes an arrangement in which all or nearly all elected officials belong to one of the only two major parties, and third parties rarely win any seats in the legislature. Question number 3. The number of subjects incorporated in the union list is Option A. 108 Option B. 92 Option C. 82 Option D. 87 The correct answer is Option B. 92 The union list or list I is a list of 92 numbered items after 101st Constitutional Amendment Act 2016. Entry 92 and 92C removed. The last item is numbered 97, given in 7th schedule in the Constitution of India on which Parliament has exclusive power to legislate. Question number 4. The most powerful Peshwa was Option A. Bazi Rav. Option B. Madhava Rav. Option C. Balaji Vishwanath. Option D. Balaji Bazi Rav. The correct answer is Option A. Bazi Rao. Bazi Rao I, the son of Balaji Vishwanath, was the most powerful Peshwa. He is also known as the winner 72 wars and Bazi Rao Mastani. Question number 5. According to modern theory of rent, rent accrues to Option A. Any factor. Option B. Labor only. Option C. Land only. Option D. Capital only. The correct answer is Option A. Any factor. Modern theory of rent does not confine itself to the reward of only land as a factor of production as was the case in the classical Ricardian theory of rent. Rent in modern sense can arise in respect of any other factor of production, i.e., labor, capital and entrepreneurship. Question number 6. The basic problem studied in macroeconomics is Option A. Usage of income. Option B. Flow of income. Option C. Distribution of income. Option D. Production of income. The correct answer is Option D. Production of income. Macroeconomics involves the sum total of economic activity, dealing with the issues such as production of national income, growth inflation, and unemployment. It is all about is about maximizing national income and growth. Question number 7. Who was the French governor of Pondicherry? Who tried to make the French company as a powerful company? Option A. Thomas Arthur, Cote de Lully. Option B. Gode Heu. Option C. La Bordene. Option D. Joseph Francois Dupleix. The correct answer is Option D. Joseph Francois Dupleix. Joseph Francois Dupleix was the French Governor General 1742 57 of Pondicherry. Question number 8. Democratic Socialism aims at Option A. Bringing about socialism through peaceful means. Option B. Bringing about socialism through violent and peaceful means. Option C. Bringing about socialism through violent means. Option D. Bringing about socialism through democratic means. The correct answer is. Option D. 
bringing about socialism through democratic means. Democratic socialism is a political ideology which aims at political democracy alongside social ownership of means of production i.e. socialism through democratic means. Question number 9. What are the folds found in the mucus lining of the empty stomach? Option A. Typhlosily. Option B. Aerialy. Option C. Rugi. Option D. Willy. The correct answer is. Option C. Rugi. Rugi both allow the stomach to stretch in order to accommodate large meals and help to grip and move food during digestion. Question number 10. The first Mysore war fought between the British and Hyder Ali in 1767-69 to AD came to an end by the Option A. Treaty of Pondicherry Option B. Treaty of Madras Option C. Treaty of Mysore Option D. Treaty of X. La. Chapelle The correct answer is Option B. Treaty of Madras Finally the war ended with the signing of a treaty on the 11th of March 1784, the Treaty of Mangalore, which restored the status quo antebellum. Question number 11. The British government intervened in the affairs of the company and passed an act in 1773 AD, known as the Option A. Regulating Act. Option B. Pitts India Act. Option C. Charter Act. Option D. Company Act. The correct answer is Option A. Regulating Act. The East India Company Act, EIC Act 1784, also known as Pitts India Act, was an act of the Parliament of Great Britain intended to address the shortcomings of the Regulating Act of 1773 by bringing the East India Company's rule in India under the control of the British government. Question number 12. Sher Shah defeated Humayun and captured Gore in the Battle O. Option A. Ghagrai in 1529 AD. Option B. Chosai in 1539 AD. Option C. Panipat in 1526 AD. Option D. Khanwai in 1527 AD. The correct answer is Option B. Chosai in 1539 AD. On the 26th of June 1539. Sher Khan faced Humayun in the Battle of Chosa and defeated him. The Mughal army was defeated in the battle. Question number 13. Identify the most infertile amongst the following soils. Option A. Black cotton soil. Option B. Alluvial soil. Option C. Laterite soil. Option D. Peaty soil. The correct answer is. Option C. Laterite soil. Laterite is the most infertile soil. Question number 14. Spot the odd item of the following. Option A. Shale. Option B. Marble. Option C. Limestone. Option D. Sandstone. The correct answer is. Option B. Marble. Marble is a metamorphic rock composed of recrystallized carbonate minerals, most commonly calcite or dolomite. Marble is typically not foliated, although there are exceptions. In geology, the term marble refers to metamorphosed limestone, but its use in stone masonry more broadly encompasses unmetamorphosed limestone. Question number 15. Which of the following reasons is responsible for lack of vegetation in the deserts? Option A. Heavy volume of sands. Option B. Absence of bee horizon in the soil. Option C. High temperature. Option D. Lack of rainfall. The correct answer is. Option D. Lack of rainfall. Deserts are dry with sparse vegetation. Landforms tend to have angular features because the lack of rain results in minimal chemical weathering, and flash floods create steep walled scarps and gullies. There are few plants to protect the soil from the wind. So the soil is blown away to expose the rocky surface. Question number 16. Which one of the following pairs is not correctly matched? Option A. Khadar, zonal soil. Option B. Podzol, zonal soil. Option C. Chestnut, zonal soil. Option D. Bhangar, a zonal soil. 
The correct answer is option A. Khadar, zonal soil. Alluvial soils, Khadar and Bhangar, are zonal soils. They form in transported and recently deposited materials. Question number 17. Select the correct direction of Sirocco storm. Option A. Sahara to Mediterranean Sea. Option B. North from USA. Option C. West from Sahara. Option D. Adriatic Sea to Italy. The correct answer is. Option A. Sahara to Mediterranean Sea. Sirocco originates in the Sahara and blows across the Mediterranean Sea into Southern Europe. Question number 18. Which among the following is an abiotic factor? Option A. Mites. Option B. Moisture. Option C. Insects. Option D. Rodents. The correct answer is. Option B. Moisture. Abiotic factors are the non-living parts of the environment that can often have a major influence on living organisms. Abiotic factors include water, sunlight, oxygen, soil and temperature. Water, H2O, is a very important abiotic factor. It is often said that water is life. All living organisms need water. Question number 19. Leaves of many grasses are capable of folding and unfolding because Option A. Their mesophyll is not differentiated into palisade and spongy parenchyma. Option B. They have stomata on both sides of the leaf. Option C. They have high levels of silica. Option D. They have specialized bully fawn cells. The correct answer is Option D. They have specialized bully fawn cells. The upper epidermis possesses groups of larger sized thin walled vacuolate cells called bulliform or motor cells. Bulliform cells help in rolling of leaves during water stress or drought. Question number 20. Pleura is the covering of Option A. Lung. Option B. Liver. Option C. Kidney. Option D. Heart. The correct answer is Option A. Lung. There are two layers, the outer pleura, parietal pleura, is attached to the chest wall and the inner pleura, visceral pleura, covers the lungs and adjoining structures, via blood vessels, bronchi and nerves. Question number 21. Which one of the following is an egg-laying mammal? Option A. Sloth. Option B. Duck, build platypus. Option C. Kangaroo. Option D. Bandicoot. The correct answer is Option B. Duck, build platypus. Only two kinds of egg laying mammals are left on the planet today the duck build platypus and the echidna, or spiny anteater. Question number 22. The moderator used in a nuclear reactor is Option A. Uranium. Option B. Radium. Option C. Ordinary water. Option D. Graphite. The correct answer is Option C. Ordinary water. Ordinary water absorbs fast moving neutrons, thus stopping the process of nuclear fission. Question number 23. Solar eclipse occurs when Option A. The moon does not lie on the line joining the sun and the earth. Option B. The moon comes between the sun and the earth. Option C. The sun comes between the moon and the earth. Option D. The earth comes between the moon and the sun. The correct answer is. Option B. The moon comes between the sun and the earth. A lunar eclipse occurs when the earth passes between the moon and the sun, and the earth's shadow obscures the moon or a portion of it. A solar eclipse occurs when the moon passes between the earth and the sun, blocking all or a portion of the sun. Question number 24. An aspect of input slash output controller of data logic is called Option A. General buffering. Option B. Zero buffering. Option C. Buffering. Option D. Data buffering. The correct answer is Option C. Buffering. In computer science, a data buffer is a region of a physical memory storage used to temporarily store data while it is being moved from one place to another. Typically, 
the data is stored in a buffer as it is retrieved from an input device or just before it is sent to an output device. Question number 25. What does BIOS stand for? Option A. Basic Internal Output System. Option B. Basic Intra Operating System. Option C. Basic Internal Organ System. Option D. Basic Input Output System. The correct answer is Option D. Basic Input Output System. In computing, BIOS an acronym for Basic Input Slash Output System and also known as the System BIOS, ROM BIOS or PC BIOS, is the firmware used to perform hardware initialization during the booting process, power on startup, and to provide runtime services for operating systems and programs. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now, link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.